No, I have a smile on my face. I found Charles McAdoo. How you doing, Charles? Doing good, Brian. How you doing? Real good. And I don't. People talk about history. We've known each other for years. It'll be just good to catch up. Um, get, tell people uh, uh, where I found you today. Uh, first off, uh, you found me in the cage. I had to get back from the cage to get back to my apartment so I could uh, so I could do this. Uh, thank you for being being flexible with me, working with me, Brian. I appreciate that. But yeah, I just got out the cage. Working, working with some, working with some people, working on some things, you know. That's your craft. I mean, baseball. We'll talk about that. Your rise through uh, the Pirates organization, through the Blue Jays organization, but specifically, I mean, you're a baseball player. But what made me happy is when you're in. Tell people uh, in the off season why you're not playing winter ball. Why are you in San Jose? Yeah, I'm not playing winter ball this year because I'm I'm finishing school. I'm um, on my last semester. My, yeah, my this my last semester. I should be graduating in the winter, and uh, and yeah, I should be a uh, that should be it after this winter. I should be done with school. Get hopefully get my get my degree, get it in a frame, and not have to worry about homework ever again. Yes, no, but I mean you, you're you're I mean as I said, you're playing baseball, but you know you're not playing baseball forever. Uh, well, what what's your uh, degree going to be in? Uh, my degree's in communication studies. Wow, you you could. You could take my. This isn't a job, but don't don't do what I'm doing because I don't make any money. But uh, uh, just model yourself after what I'm doing, and no, we, we get along great. And uh, no, it's just wonderful that yeah, it's because people don't realize you were at San Jose State three years. You were drafted. You give them an update. I know you've been everywhere: uh, Bradenton, Greensboro, Altoona, PA, and now uh, Manchester, uh, and a trade to, to tell people where Mac. You've been everywhere. Yeah, I've I've been to Kentucky, uh, South Carolina, North Carolina. Um, let's see. I'm trying to think. This is hard off the dome. I've been to New York, um, New Hampshire, New Jersey, I believe. Um, I already said the Carolinas. It's hard to it's hard to keep track right. of where I was at. But I've been I've been to a lot. Bradenton, Dunedin. Oh, yeah, all over the place. No, I guess you, you just get on the bus and wherever, yeah. it, wherever it takes you. And uh, you've seen parts of the country that I only know about on Wikipedia. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's great. And we joke. Uh, I'm trying to think, you know, the uh, uh, the Greensboro gra Grasshoppers, uh, well, maybe the Altoona. Mention that uh, you're a young guy. You're playing for Altoona, and the uh, uh, Pirates organization. And you get traded. How did you find out about this trade? Uh, so what happened was, is I was in my locker, you know, ready. You know, this is pregame. It's like 20 minutes before the game. I was about to go out and start getting stretched. Like probably in like a minute or two. I was probably in the process of getting up out of my locker. I get it. Someone comes out and says, hey, you got a second? I was like, yeah, I got a second. It was an infield guy. I was like, all right. Probably going to talk about some infield stuff, some positioning before the game. And uh, you may you may know this name, John John Baker. Ring a bell. Yes, John I do. John Delisau, he's now with the Pirates organization. Yeah, yeah, he's he was the the he's the farm director for the Pirates. Great guy, awesome, awesome guy. Um, he's on the phone. He yeah, he tells me you're you're getting traded to the Blue Jays for a big leaguer, and I was like, oh, oh, oh my. Hold on, give me a second. Sorry, no worries. Sorry. No, TV no, no. Life happens there. Could continue the John Baker story. You were uh he calls to tell you you're traded. Yeah, and I'm and I'm sitting in the chair speechless. I'm I'd I had I had no I had no idea what to say. I had no idea what to think. I was just blank, blank everything all over the place. And um and then I had to clear out my locker, had to call a farm director for the Blue Jays, had to get my get my stuff set up. Get my stuff uh, transported from Altoona to uh, New Hampshire, and the next day I was on a I was on a, in a truck to uh, to Binghamton, New York, because they were on an away trip. See, that's the life you did. You got to New Hampshire later. You had to meet the team in uh, Binghamton, New York, and uh, wow, they meet your new yeah. teammates. So that's the life of of a minor league player. And I mentioned before we start, we both have a love of Star Wars. Tell people why you're lucky you play now and not 15 years ago. 
Yeah, because I'd have to lug all the all the CDs and all the <laughs> all the tapes around. I actually still I think I may still have a hard copy of the Revenge of the Sith. See, that's house. it. Yeah, save that. That that's that that could be a collector's <laughs> item. And then last time we talked, you I want to get that shirt. You had a shirt with all the movies. Oh um, yeah. Yeah. No, but think about that. I mean, you're doing uh, on the buses, you're doing a uh, studying of the, the your opponents, you're watching your swing, but how easy it is now you can watch things i mean, I mean how because those bus trips are long are they not yeah some some are longer than others for sure right where i was in new hampshire like we were pretty far away from most places and all the short road trips were at the beginning of the year so i had uh, come to the tail end where all the longer ones were yeah so i had a lot of time on my hands and i was on those buses so when they tra you figured out they traded you they had already gone on the short road trips we'll put mcadoo on the long road trips uh, you mentioned that that's a double A. See, I'm only I study this the Manchester Fisher Cats. And uh, did, did you look up what a Fisher Cat was? I did not. I assumed that it was a type of fish and or a no, type of cat. No, no, it's a uh, it's it's an actual to be like uh, maybe like a mountain lion or it, but it lives in trees. So, oh. um, yes, so it's, it's good you stayed probably in the city there in Manchester. And not gone out into the woods. So, you know, I, yeah, I mean, it, so that's it. So you you played for them, and uh, so yeah. Now now you're with the Blue Jays. So maybe that's it. Where do you go to uh, spring training or minor? How do you find out where you're going to be next year? Um, I, I I mean, I'll find out. I guess like a few days before I get there. I I won't I won't know. I know I'm going to Florida for spring training. I know that much. I don't know what day or anything like that. I, so. I mean, it's all it's all up in the air, and hopefully, you know, I, I get that information sooner rather than later. Right. Well, I guess what well, depends how, how good you do there. I mean, you show up, and uh, yeah, you're you're you know you're going to Florida. After Florida, you don't know where you're going. Mm -mm. No, that, that, I mean that's that, that's that, that's a good thing. Uh, you just uh, and right are you are you third base and right field, or what position are you playing? Uh, I've been majority third base, but I played a few games. I played a few games at second last year, a few games at first, some games at right. I think the game at left. I've yeah, I've been all over the field this year. Well, that's a good thing. You, you, it sounds like you almost can play anywhere. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, yes, sir. Yeah, no, no, that's awesome. And then I'm trying to think. Uh, just memories, just be, be, being um, in, in the minor leagues, uh, and so this has been going on going what, about two years in the minor leagues now. I, I'm trying to put everything together. Yeah, last year was my first full year. That's right. Uh, exactly. So a uh, drafted in uh, June of 23 or no? Or uh, yeah, 23. Yeah, perfect. Okay, yeah, that's it. And then I said the uh, Bradenton, uh, Greensboro. What's been your most memorable uh, minor league experience so far? Um, I would say so far, within the first half. Uh, high A with the Greensboro Grasshoppers for sure. That's definitely been a highlight. Um, an, an, another another one. I mean, it's not good, but like it was kind of funny because we were all in the situation. Uh, bus stopped working on the on a road trip, and I was in New Hampshire to Altoona, so we had to stay on on site for like an extra hour and a half and to wait for the next bus, the repair bus, to come so we could get get on the road. It was a ten hour trip. Wow. Um, yeah. Did you, did you have your uh, plenty of stuff to watch on Disney Plus? Oh, I have plenty of stuff to watch. I don't right, okay. I have plenty. That's awesome. And it, so right now, what what's the big thing you're watching? Ooh, I I I, I was watching Agatha all along on Disney Plus. That's a pretty good one. A little sequel to uh WandaVision. Yeah, it's a pretty pretty good show. Yeah. Agatha, all along. good show. Awesome. Yeah. And then I'm trying to think like uh, I met you at Del Sal. Who at Del Sal do you keep in, in touch with? Uh, Grant, uh, Grant Daly, Vince Bianchina, Keone Coloma, um, Andrew Szymanski, uh, Ben Parker. Talked to Kyle here and there. I actually uh got got a chance to talk to Gunner when we played him, played the Phillies because he was in he was in he's in the Phillies organization. Yeah, I mean. That's really it. I'll give I'll give Zeke a Zeke a ring every once in a while. A, a Zeke Barry or who? Yes, sir. Uh, Zeke Barry. Yeah, Mr. Michigan. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Michigan, right there. Right, right, right. And then what about? Uh, I'm always asking you about your family, your brother Michael, because you're a hero, a baseball hero. Tell people what Michael's doing. 
Yeah, Michael's Michael's still a Marine. I don't know where he is. I think he's in California right now, but this year he he's been all over the place. I don't know what he was doing, but he just has been all over the place, all over the world on a boat. So I mean, it seems like he's enjoying it. I'm glad he's enjoying it. So I'm I'm gonna assume he's just gonna keep on keep on going until until he doesn't want to anymore. Right. No, but if there's ever any like uh extracurricular activity, it's like they put together a baseball team. Uh, they're, they're going to want Michael on that team. Yeah, they are. They probably, they're probably going to need him. Yeah, absolutely. No, but that's it. So as much as you're traveling, Michael's traveling more than you. Yeah, he's traveling probably 10 times more than I am. Right, right. You're on a bus. He's on a boat. <laughs> no, and I'm trying to think of what else. Like uh, may, maybe, as I said, it's been years ago, uh, maybe like a lesson or something you learned at Del Sal that you still use to, to this day. Oh, uh, let's see. A lesson I learned at Dallas How that I still use today. I would say hard work and dedication gets you uh get you further, get you further than talent alone. I think that's a lesson that I learned coming out of there for sure. Yeah, that's valuable because uh, as I said, everybody has talent, and it's just a matter of how hard you work. It, 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 even today. You're in the cage. You're not only you studying. You're in the cages. Uh, and then uh, uh, I'm trying to think what else to ask you here. It's just for me. It's just just wonderful to catch up. You know, and that you know that we have this relationship. You know that uh, uh, formed whatever. Oh, have you seen what they're doing at Del South? Thanks to you and the guys before. No, you don't know this. I no I saw that they went to I they went to the UK and they played in the UK. I saw that. Yes. That seemed like an incredible experience and they were very lucky to have that. That was insane looking. Right. Well that's that's another thing cuz that's also why I like you. You had check all the boxes, a good family, a good brother, but also the football baseball connection and I wasn't even think but think how wonderful that is. All what you did, what your brother did, everyone before laid the foundation and they went to London to for a week you know, to travel around and play uh, the, the NFL Academy. So, I mean, that's the football team going, uh, you know, a whole new level. I was going to say on campus, there is no baseball field right now. It's been torn down and they're putting in like a baseball stadium. Really? Wow. Yes. Awesome. Yeah, they'll go online. And I think it, it's going to be, uh, you guys would win with the bad hops when you would play St. Francis because the exactly the infield was you guys knew the infield you know yeah. <laughs> and now you know it's, you it, it's the future and I think they're putting in the the you know the, the turf and whatnot and and, and I it, it's it's not like a a minor league park but it's an actual I think stadium they're building there and if you I should take take a photo right now it does it looks it's a construction zone I mean where all the where you made all the plays there's nothing there but dirt right now. <laughs> yeah, wow. that's good. So I, I've given you, I provided you an update, and so, uh, so, so that makes me happy. And then I'm trying to think. Just uh, no, we'll just stay in touch. I mean, I mean, you're doing all the right things. You're progressing through the minor leagues. You're going, you're going to graduate from San Jose State in December, or uh, when are you yeah, going to graduate? Wow. I mean, how happy are your mom and dad going to be? I think they're going to be ecstatic that. They that uh, number one, it's over, and number two, that both their kids got 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 their degrees. Think about that. Think of that through Dallas Al, and then uh, Michael at UCSB, you you at San Jose State, and then what about how often do they keep like a? Do they, they know where to find you when you're on the road? Did they come and see you a few times? Yeah, they came to they came to see me uh, twice in Greensboro. They didn't get a chance to see me in Altoona. I don't think. Yeah, no, they didn't. They didn't come out to Altoona, and it was at the end of the year. It was kind of tough for them, and when I was in New Hampshire, because you know they still work too. So right, yeah, no, but that's the thing. Make, make it keep on going, and make it to the big leagues, and then it'll be easy for them to find you. It'd be much easier. <laughs> How do you? You can't even fly to Altoona, PA. I, I don't, is that like central Central Pennsylvania? Where is that? I have no. I know it's in the middle of nowhere. That's all about all I know. And. Yes. But the closest airport's in Pittsburgh, which is two hours away. There's yes. one airport. There's one airport that only flies Frontier in Altoona, but I don't think you'd want to fly in the. <laughs> no, I think that's Frontier. correct, Charles. Uh, yeah. you, you've you've made sure that Frontier will never be my sponsor, but that, that is true. <laughs> yeah. 
you know, the Charles McAdoo and Brian Marciano say, uh, "Do not fly Frontier." I think that is. I think that's an Altoona because I think you'd have to transfer in up Pittsburgh and then transfer from there to Altoona. And I, right, I'm, right, I'm right, right. It'll be like a thirty-minute oh. flight. Might as well exactly. Oh, but that, that I think, and, and I'm the only guy that know, that was the Eastern League. I think. Yeah, yeah, Eastern League. <laughs> Exactly. And so, no. And so, you know, maybe this uh, you're, uh, you're going to graduate come December and then uh, uh, spring training starts late February, early March. Uh, yeah. I mean, this 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 is a big times. I mean, uh, uh, well, what are your goals for 2025? No, um, finish strong, uh, fix, like be better at things I wasn't as good at as last year. Um you know, be a good teammate. It's always it's always a key for me. If I feel like I'm not being a good teammate, I'm not I'm not helping all the way. Cause I feel like that's that stuff is important. That is that's important to make teams to teams like perpetuate and whatnot. Um other than that, I mean just be better than I was last year at the things I wasn't very good at. Yeah, man, the, the, we should do like motivational speaking. I mean uh, <laughs> no, I mean you 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 just have a good attitude, a good personality. Yeah, no, I'm just happy to see you succeed, to see you you doing well. And, and if anybody's watching, uh, Charles McAdoo is an easy guy to root for. You know, it's just he, he does everything correctly. Um, uh, uh, may, maybe this, like a, I think you already get, you told people to be a good teammate. How about if there's like a young Spartan watching right now from De La Salle? What's a message that, that you could deliver to them? Hmm. Uh, <laughs> just keep going. I mean. It may it may seem tough now. Stuff may seem tough. It may not be looking good, but I'm not the only example. There's another example, and uh, Gabe Gioso, he brought it like he wasn't he wasn't in the best the best situation going in, but he worked on it. Like well, well waking up at like six a.m. every day, coming to school, running a mile or two before the school day, and just doing that every day. So I'm not the only example of hard work and pushing through, but. I mean, just keep going. It may seem it may seem grim. It's it's whatever. Just keep pushing. Not a it's not it's not the end of the world. Failure is part of part of life. Just keep going. Wow, that's powerful. And you saw, I think Gabe, you know, he played St. Mary's USF. But is, is he is he now like a, an executive with the Giants, or um, or I'm making stuff up? He may be. I'm I'm not sure. Yeah. You know, right. Not... No, but see, that's it. So you just remember something from years ago. Because he played a lot at Del Sal, but you're mm -hmm. saying he really had to work at it. Yeah, he really had he really had to 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 get in to get into shape. Okay. You you, you don't even realize this. You're like my assistant producer here. You have might made me want to contact Gabe Gioso because I just saw him succeeding. I didn't know the backstory of him having to work very hard to succeed. You follow me on that? Yes, sir. He wow. uh, he, he worked he worked incredibly hard to get where he's at for sure. Oh. Excellent. As did you. But as I said, but as I, but it's pretty that's your to your credit, you saw someone else and uh, you remember that that was like six years ago. Yeah. Wow. Very cool. I'm trying maybe we wrap up here. Is, is there anything that, that you'd like to add that, that I forgot to talk about? Um. Uh, not 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 that I can think of off the top of my head. No Star Wars movies coming out at any time soon. So no. Nothing else. Nothing. No, no, that shows. I just do it off the top of my head, too. It shows that I asked all the right questions. Maybe it, it's not Star Wars. Do you watch Cobra Kai? I I, I have been watching Cobra Kai. I'm all caught up. Is right. the new, new season's coming out in November, right? Correct. Yeah, what they did, it's still, they, they split season six into like three parts. We've already watched whatever in August of September. There were like five episodes, five more episodes in November, and then five more episodes uh, next year. Awesome. Uh, uh, Cobra Kai never dies. Yeah, they're milking it. They're definitely milking it for sure. <laughs> Absolutely. No, yeah. but uh, what happened? I think they went to like it was either Barcelona or someplace, and then yeah. they look, and then suddenly uh, a crease shows up with uh, with I guess his granddaughter, whoever that the, the tough the tough yeah, girl. Tori. Tori, yeah, I think. <laughs> yeah, we yeah. could do. We, that was Tori. Yeah, very good. All right, Charles. Now I'll wrap up here. I just. Seeing you just makes me very happy, and I might need tech support. You people don't have to know that you show me how to start this. I yeah. might, I, I might have, I hit more. Let's see here. Yes, more. Here we go. Hold on. And 
And where is, oh, right here. It's actually right on stop. I stopped recording. We're all set. But th th thank you again, Charles. And I'll talk yeah. to you. Hey, stay, hang out for a moment. I'll talk to you a moment afterwards. Hold on. Sounds good, Brian. Thank you. Very cool.